Hi, this is Reggie with Stupid Racings. In this video, I will show you how to add keyframes in Final Cut Pro. I'm going to share with you two ways to add keyframes in Final Cut, by manual and by automatic. So let's get it on! For the first method, select your clip on your timeline and then drag the playhead at the first frame of your clip and then go over to the video inspector. If you see a diamond button at the side of the parameter, it can be keyframed or animated, like opacity, position, rotation, scale, and so on. Okay? For this tutorial, we're gonna do a dolly zoom effect. Now be sure the playhead is at the first frame of your clip and then hit the position, keyframe, and scale. You now have a keyframe. Now let's grab our playhead to add another keyframe. Just click the button again for position and scale. Scrub through, then click the position, click the scale, then let's go over to the last frame of our clip and then click the position and scale keyframe. To see your clip, you should move one frame back like this. Okay, you have these arrows right here to go to the previous keyframe or to the next keyframe. Okay, let's start with the first keyframe at 100. Scale is at 100 and then let's go to the next keyframe. Let's make scale. Let's drag it right here. Drag. Then let's move the position right here. Negative 170. Let's move keyframe so you can see it goes back to the zero because that's the first parameter we set right here okay zero okay let's move on to the next keyframe it's at 100 and zero next keyframe and let's make it same as this let's make it negative 170 then scale is 143 you now have a dolly zoom effect using keyframes. If this video has been helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. For the second method, let's drag this logo to our timeline, put it here. Let's first resize our logo, right click, click transform, and drag the blue handles at the corner, like so, click done. Now click the logo or the clip, and then drag the playhead at the very first frame of your clip and then go to the transform header and then you can see the small arrow and then click that arrow, click add. You now have keyframes for all the parameters right here. Once a keyframe is added to a clip, every time you modify a parameter, it will add a keyframe automatically. Okay, let me show you. Okay, let's grab our playhead, then let's change the position right here. Okay, then let's drag our playhead and let's change our position again. Let's drag our playhead, change our position. You now have one, two, three, four, five keyframes. If you want to see the keyframes of your clip, just click your clip and then hit Control V. This is called the Video Animator Editor. You can see all of the keyframes added by position, scale, and so on. You can also drag the keyframes if you want to change time where the keyframe will be, like here. If you want to make it at the end, just drag it there. And then if you want to delete the keyframe, just right click the keyframe and then delete keyframe. Right click, delete keyframe. If you want to hide the video animation editor, just click Ctrl V again. Okay? Easy peasy, right? Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today. But if you want to learn more, I've made another video about how to mirror a video in Final Cut. Click here to check it out.